So we are here in the MTD studio at Mac 2018. Gio and myself are joined by Neil Human from Cogsdill. Now, Neil, I hear you've got a little tool. That's right, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Lindsay. My tool is very small. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we do get asked a lot, we, as, at Cogstill we're famous for deburring tools. Um, previously our tools went from 2 millimetres up to about 50 millimetres as standard and we get asked a lot for smaller tools. So at Cogstill we have developed a 1 millimetre deburring tool. So explain to us the technology behind this. It's basically a spring-loaded blade um, that feeds in through the bore, springs out through the back of the bore and deburs front and back of a bore in one pass. So you can do um, cross holes with this, you can put it on a CNC machine, you can put it on a sliding head machine. Pretty much anybody who makes who machines small holes, you can use this tool. I have a few questions, yes, Neil, about your tool, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, um, now, does everyone know that Cogsdale supply the, the the first question does everyone know that Cogsdale supply these uh, deburring tools uh, that's a good question. I would hope that we're famous for deburring tools. Uh, the, the tool was invented by Stuart Cogsdill back in about 1930. So we've been making these tools. They're nothing new. We've been making them for a long time. And we are the world leaders in deburring tools. I mean, they start from one mil, but they go up to a 50 mil. Is that correct, Neil? Yeah, from standard, um, as I say before, it started from two millimetres and up to 50 millimetres as standard in, in, from the catalogue. But as I say, we were asked a lot for, for smaller sizes. I mean, from my experience on the shop floor, when I was in the, the shop floor in the aerospace industry, which these tools really lend themselves, in my opinion, to the aerospace yeah, industry, we used to do a lot of manual deburring. We used to have a deburring cell. And we weren't aware of them tools. And if we were aware of them tools, it would have saved the company a fortune, not only in time, but also, um, you know, in scrap parts. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it, it's, it's a great solution for everyone, not just the aerospace industry, but all anyone that's drilling holes. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry to ask, but it, and also financially, it's got to be beneficial from the processes that you were doing, is that oh, correct? That's right. I mean, if you can do this in cycle, um, it saves a guy in there with a little hand deburr, um, trying to deburr the back of a bore. And also, it's very easy for somebody to slip with a hand deburr and damage a good surface finish. This goes in through the bore, there's no, no chance of damaging a good surface finish. And it's quick, quick and simple. Thank you, Neil. Any more questions, Gio? Yeah, just, just one more question, Lindsay. We did, I did, I did, it, you've, I've got to correct myself, really. We used to chamfer the front hole with just a little chamfering tool, just yes. to break the edge. Yep. But we, it always used to be problematic deburring the back hole. Um, so with this, it's a great solution for anyone that's doing any through holes. And I think that they should get in touch with Cogsteel because it can save them time and money. If anyone's drilling holes, get in touch with Neil at Cogsteel. So, Neil, thank Neil, thank you so much for letting us talk to you about your tool. No problem at all. Thank you.